Alright, so we've got some uh, 45 and 50 mile per hour winds out here today and I uh, thought it'd be a good time to kind of experience what it's like driving the truck camper in high winds. I'm going to take uh, one of the kind of less traveled roads uh, up the hill a little bit. There's not much traffic up there, but it's up on the plains and uh, we've got 60 mile an hour gusts up there. About 45 to 50 mile per hour sustained. And uh, just gonna go up and, and see what the thing feels like, how it handles. And, um, you know, as far as safety goes, uh, I'm not gonna go very fast. I'm going on a, on a road that's not uh, traveled very much. And if it's, uh, you know, if it's too windy once I get up there, I'm just gonna turn around and come right back. But it's uh, probably a good thing to to know how the thing, how the truck and the truck camper feel when you're driving in high winds. Normally, I wouldn't be driving in, in super high winds, but if you're out on the road and you get caught uh, in a windstorm and there's no place to pull off, it's it's just good to know, you know, how the thing feels and how it's going to react uh, to these wind gusts. So let's go. All right, truck's all warmed up. Just gonna pull out the driveway and uh, head up, uh, head up on the plains a little bit. Get this heater going and uh, get, get comfortable in the cab here. And like I said, I'm just gonna go slow. I uh, made sure I had all my vents closed and uh, all my windows closed. Uh, made sure all the doors were secured. You know, all the side compartment doors are secured. And, uh, you know, just did all my regular checks, you know, just like uh, I would do before I was leaving uh, a campground or a camping area or something like that. So uh, just going to head up the road a little bit and then I'll stop and look at everything, make sure it's all OK and then uh, continue back home. All right. So, uh, yeah, we got some pretty good rain and uh, I'll go ahead and turn the camera around so you can see. Up on the top of these planes here, uh, it's always a little bit stronger wind, so we should have probably maybe 50, 55, maybe even 60 mile per hour gusts, uh, 45 to 50 sustained winds up here. All right, so I'm feeling some, some pretty strong gusts, but. Uh, if you can kind of anticipate when the gusts are coming, definitely hang on to the steering wheel. Drive with both hands on the wheel. And uh, just go slow. So you can kind of feel when you're driving in these high winds, you can kind of feel or you can hear when uh, you know there's a, a pretty large gust and that's when you're going to want to kind of react in the steering so if you've got a, a, a good side wind you know coming from the uh, from the driver's side you're going to want to turn that way turn into the wind to uh, you know kind of gradually correct what the wind is doing to your rig you see that in the steering here sort of putting some tension on the steering wheel toward the center of the road. Not too much. And when the gusts come and uh, let off, it uh, you know makes for a, a little bit smoother uh, drive down, down the road. It keeps you straight down the road. There's a big gust right there. couple of big gusts and you can see I'm keeping it straight down the road. All right, so now I've got a, uh, a, a total side wind right now. I'm driving uh, pretty much due west and the uh, wind is going out of the south. Really feel these gusts. Speed limit's 55 here. 
I'm keeping it at about 50. The uh, comfort level goes way up. If you even if you just slow down just a little bit, just even just down five miles per hour from the speed limit. All right, so I've got a tailwind now, heading north. Wind's coming out of the south. You don't hardly feel it at all, but uh, you gotta really let off of the accelerator because the wind is, is pushing me. I'm, I'm barely on the accelerator and I'm going 50. And uh, you know, like I said, the speed limit's 55 on this road. And um, I'm just keeping it about five miles per hour under. And the reason why I'm doing that is uh, reaction time, you know, sudden gust of wind to one side or another, I've got uh, a little bit, a little bit more time to react. And uh, it's just safer. This, uh, this road is lightly traveled, so I'm not holding anybody up. Got a lot of down trees in this area. Tree limbs down in the road here. One more reason why you want to drive a little bit slower in a windstorm, especially when it's dark. You're not going to be able to see a lot of this, you know, debris in the road until you're right up on top of it. So just drive with caution, drive a little bit slower. Pretty good size oak limbs came down this morning. service station here and just check all my uh, check my, my uh, tie downs and make sure nothing shifted Another note I wanted to make was, uh, you know, driving in the winds and the heavier rains, this uh, you know, little gasket that I made between the uh, truck cab and the camper is completely dry, no leaks, didn't blow out, didn't even move. All right, speed limit 65 on this highway. I'm going 55. Here's where some of the strongest winds are. Now I've got about six cars behind me, so I'm going to turn up here and let these guys go. You just have to be courteous to other drivers, so if you're you're going slower if you you know if you need to take your time and go a little bit slower you know have the courtesy to uh, pull off whenever you can and uh, you know let the cars go by that courtesy thing kind of goes both ways so if you have you know if you're courteous to them hopefully they'll be uh, you know courteous back if uh, you know you're merging or you know, need to change lanes or something. There's uh, kind of that common courtesy. All right, well, that was only about 15 miles uh, driving in the wind, but man, it really takes it out of you. So, a couple of things I'd like to note, just from my first time experience, driving in really high winds like uh, like this, I've driven in 30 mile an hour winds before, you know, 25, 30 mile an hour winds, and that can be a little bit scary, but a couple of things just to note is uh, it doesn't take but a split second for that wind to push you into the oncoming lane. If you're on a two lane highway, 
or if you're on a freeway that's four lanes, it can, it can push you into the other lane fairly quickly. So try to anticipate those gusts. Um, you're gonna hear it and, and kind of, you know, feel it uh, start to push you. And both hands on the wheel and, and your reaction time just to smoothly, gradually hold your ground um, you know, hold, hold in your lane so you don't get either pushed off, you know, onto the shoulder or into oncoming traffic or into the lane next to you. Um, so, you know, you, you've got to really keep tension on that wheel. And then another thing that I realized was when you've got cuts in the highway, so when the, when, when the highway goes through a hill, a hillside where they've cut, you know, where they've graded through, um, that wind is gonna be significantly less uh, in that cutout area. So if you're you know, holding tension on the wheel you know, one direction or the other, uh, and then you go into one of those cuts and you've got tension on the wheel, you're gonna to start to turn that direction pretty quickly. So you have to kind of gradually let the tension off as you're going into uh, you know, those cutouts. And then kind of the opposite, as you're coming out of the cutout, you've got to anticipate the wind gusts from whatever direction uh, right as you come out of the cut. So just kind of watch that, try to know what it's going to feel like and, uh, you know, get a little bit of experience doing it. It's, it's okay to go out on some of these less traveled roads and just kind of practice like, like I did today. If you get caught in a, in a, in an area where there's wind and you can't get off the highway, you need to, you know, be comfortable in uh, safely getting down the road to an area where you can get off the road. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this thing parked and uh, thanks for coming along with me. If you have any questions on, uh, you know, driving in the wind or if you guys have any comments on that, leave it in the, uh, in the comment section below. Some of you guys are way more experienced in driving in the wind, especially, you know, down in the uh, desert southwest, uh, you know, where you've got, or, or even on uh, in some of the uh, northern states like Wyoming, uh, uh, Montana, eastern Montana, you can get some serious winds going through that area. And, um, you know, just let me know what your experiences are and maybe some tips on, uh, on what to do, you know. Even if it's just get off the highway, man. Uh, go park at a truck stop until the winds stop and uh, and then you know continue on your way after the winds subside a little bit so anyway hope this uh, was either entertaining or uh, you know helped you out a little bit giving you some tips and uh, again thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button for me I really appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one later